Hello, this is uh, David Comprator from Lumetrics, sitting in front of the robot. Uh, the robot right now is programmed to measure the uh, thickness layers of three glass slides glued together uh, with two air gaps, uh, about 40 to 50 microns each of the air gaps. Uh, and it measures six positions from one side and then six positions from the other side. Uh, so it's just going through a cycle of that right now. Uh, and the way it works is the uh, camera that's mounted at 90 degrees to the uh, Lumetrics OptiGauge probe first takes right here. We're going to go. So it just took a picture and it said, hey, I know where that slide is. Uh, now I know where to do my measurements. And now it did those measurements and it flipped over to the other side and it's measuring the other six measurements. And it'll go through another cycle again. It's just going to cycle through it. There you go. Took a picture. Now it knows where to measure. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll pause it on one of the uh, measurements so you, we can talk about the measurement quickly. Okay. So I paused it on uh, one of the uh, measurements from the backside. We'll call it the backside. Uh, and the OptiGauge is live right now. Uh, what we have going on is uh, this signal here is from the front surface of the top slide. Then there's another signal from the back surface of the top slide. Then this small air gap. And I'll zoom in on the air gap in a second. Uh, but then we got an, another slide then another air gap, and then the last slide. Uh, and you can see the numbers up here, uh, about a millimeter worth of glass for the slide, about four, 44 microns for the air gap, another millimeter slide, 35, 34 millimeter, microns, I'm sorry, I think I've been saying millimeters, but they're microns, and then another millimeter for the uh, last slide. Let me zoom in on the first air gap. And you can see we got these two bumps here and these uh, red triangles on top show the air gap that uh, we're measuring right here. And actually we measure the, uh, since the optical thickness and the physical thickness are the same, that's because the refractive index is one. Uh, Refractive index of the slide is about 1.5, and you can see the optical thickness is a little thicker, but then you divide by that to get the actual physical thickness. All right, let me zoom back out. Uh, so we looked at this air gap. Now let's go ahead and look, take, take a close look at this air gap. We'll go real close on this one. There you go. So we got the, the, the two humps, and you can see this is live. Uh, the small amount of jitter is, is pretty normal, but it doesn't make any difference with the relative measurements. So we've got a very steady 35 uh, micron air gap between the, the last two slides. I'll zoom back out again. And you can auto zoom to do that. And now you're seeing the full profile. Uh, these are secondary reflections and we don't, we just ignore them. This threshold here can be moved up or down to eliminate stray uh, secondary reflections. And the robot has been staying steady on the back side. It looks like the fourth measurement for this time while I'm paused, but I'm gonna start it back up and we can watch it go through the cycle again. And there you go. It's, uh, Finished the back side, took the picture of the front side. Now it's taking the first six measurements on the front side. And it, we're streaming this data constantly out to, uh, on a, uh, well, you can see it's streaming to COM7 there. It's data streaming uh, to COM7, so we're creating a big long file, uh, which you guys can analyze, anyone can analyze. Uh, at a later date, or you can do it live if you uh, stream that data direct into another uh, another instrument or program. But uh, yeah, so the combination of the OptiGauge probe, the camera, and the robot uh, becomes uh, 
very useful tool for uh, checking the multiple thickness layers of uh, stacked glass. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I want to thank uh, Dave Rigolo for uh, setting up the robot and the uh, programming the robot so it uh, efficiently moves through these uh, measurement points. Uh, and again, this is Dave Comprator from Lumetrics.